Using that curve to different planes, getting a heading counts allows her to use her changeup more confidently, and that will determine the longevity of her outing if she can locate that changeup effectively. The 2-1 to Jennings. Jennings to the right side, scooped by Alexander, one away. Gold gets under this one. Down the left field line, Garrity, yes. Two away. To go right at her, try to jam her up on her hands. Davidson on base yet again. Uh, this one nearly goes to the wall, and it does. Davidson rounding first, standing up at second base, and yet another extra base hit for Claire Davidson. By putting up 12 of her own long ball last year. Freshman single season home run record last year. Vega, though, harmlessly pops out to Hess. So one hit, one left. Louisville streak snapped. And she faces the first pitch from Cassidy Kurt. Little slap to the third baseman and a nice play. That's out of gold. And one quick out. Yeah, you never want to be complacent and let you sit and rest on your laurels. So this Duke team continuing to push. Called strike three. What a nice pitch there for Cassidy Kurd. And her first strike out of the inning. Lost to Miami of Ohio and to Duke. The 3-2. Hess. That one falls down the right field line. Hess is turning for two, and she will get there on her belly. How about a two-out double? And Louisville with can drive her home. In the dirt, gets by Torres. And inching closer to the plate now is from Mizzou this year. Coach Holly April said, we just need her RBI potential to come through. 22nd pitch now of this inning. It is squeezed by Torres and a big strikeout for her. The timing of these Duke hitters, and that's what she needs to do, knowing they are so good this year. Right back to the mid -aboo. One away here in the second. I thinking it's velocity coming in. Puts the bunt down. It's a good one. The flip from Frizzell. Got him. Good cover there by Alexander. And two away here in the second. Oh, I am impressive. pretty confident my score taking bill. I am scoring, but not at home. We are we're calling the game. <laughs> nice pitch there from Boo. Gets the strikeout looking to end the inning. The one two to Holloway. Swing and a miss, some high gas from Curd, and that is her third. The one two to Richardson. Flared down the right field line, going over to make the play. Good tracking job there by Vega. And two away here in the second. Those games are definitely difficult, and they have them within their four, first four series. Now how about four strikeouts? Certainly had to replace some key pieces last year, but certainly has an opportunity this year to piggyback off of some of last year's success as Jada Baker flies out for the first out. On when as well. That one to the left side of the infield. That's up with it. Strong throw. Lost the ball on the gather. It's the second out of the inning. Nice play there by Hess. Money Jennings almost set up outside of the box with the way she approaches. Gets that one through the right side, and we'll see if they score that a base hit. That was hit hard to Alexander, the second baseman. Speed now on the bases. Second two out hit of the day for Duke. And the second time that they leave the runner on base, Anna Gold pops out. Louisville up here in the third, next. Joe's butt puts it down, making way for the third baseman, Gold, and Alexander beats it out. Well-placed butt, that'll be an infield single. So make sure that she stays close to the back. That butt is down, but no, it's into the glove of the first baseman, Tapia. 
and unable to get the runner to second base. One away. Punch it through the defenders. See Golden Tapia sneaking in there on the corners. The bunt is down. It looked foul. No, it's fair. The runner does go to second base. As Chelsea Mack gets the job done, but now two away here to bring up the two-hole hitter, Garrity. Looks like that bunt might have started foul, but it's the play with Alexander at second. To the right side. Tapia has it. And again, just like Duke, Louisville leaves a runner on. And so Davidson, with that open stance, allows herself to see the ball a little bit better. That one is high. And a walk here. For nice of you to blame the announcers as an announcer. <laughs> it was my, it was my call. Yeah, it was I you. blame it myself. Was you. Yep, not pointing was the it? finger, we're pointing the thumb. Davidson gets in there. <laughs> With a dozen. She's got four this year, the 2-2. Two -two. And that one is blasted to left. Stumbling, though, to try and make the play was Garrity. And now going to third is Davidson. And rounding third and going home is Davidson. What nothing do. It looked well, like a harmless fly ball to left. Garrity may have either lost it or simply misjudged it. And we'll call it a base hit and an RBI. Yeah, that was a routine fly ball out there to left, but Paige Garrity, as she was tracking it, lost her footing. So because of that slip, unable to recover and get back to that ball, I mean, Marissa Young, very aggressive coach on the bases, knows that she's got some speed, and Davison pushes that around. And, and now trying to check another one with a another road series win. Freeland to short, Hess out number one here in the fourth front Torres back up the middle glove work by Alexander runner advances another 62 out that player in our production call before the series the 1-0 got her to short Hess again nice across the diamond to retire the side but not before Duke scores a run pop layer of dirt and sometimes that clay can just stick your cleat stick this to get up to actually chip we sound old very now right now we sound very old <laughs> the 2-2 two -two here from curd to frizzell curd cooking with oil two strikeouts here in the fourth and two to holloway holloway Blast this one to center field, and all Jennings can do is look up and watch it leave. Gabby Holloway, her third home run of the season, and we are knotted up at Over Stadium. Yeah, Louisville has not scored a ton of runs off the long ball this year, but the 22nd team home run, and it was a two-strike approach that she was just striding early, letting her hands go right to the ball. Kurt has thrown with a ton of velocity into the zone, and because of that, all you have to do is connect, and Holloway connects, drives it deep. Huge home run, and we're all knotted up. Gabby Holloway, who a lot of confidence in Kurt. The 1-1 one -one here in the bottom of the four, the 0-2. That one sails into right field for the base hit. Richardson. Better than Richardson with a base hit to right. She's on first. The 3-1 to Miller lays off of that one in a two-out walk. When you're feeling this momentum shift, I mean, the way this inning started, go ahead, leave that one off, because I need a power pitch to be able to attack. Full count. In there for a called strike three. Up here in the bottom of the fourth. We're now in the fifth. Baker to the left side and through. Fourth base hit of the day. Hitters, just her 14th appearance on the season. Tapia puts it down and gets the runner to second base. The go-ahead runner. Expecting her to lay down something like a soft slap or a drag. Baker at second. 
Jennings swing and a miss. Oh, what a nice pitch there from Holloway. Two down here in the fifth. Six home runs on the season. That one is pounded to right, but right into the mid of Miller. Duke leaves the go-ahead run in scoring position. Look. Kurt had 82 pitches coming into this inning. This is the first batter of this inning. Number 102, got her! Mack lines out for out number two. Five pitches thrown in a game, 115. Closing in on that. Garrity to the left side. Shift works. A solo shot from Gabby Holloway to straightaway center field. And now Holloway in the circle facing the very dangerous Claire Davidson, who gives it to the vacuum cleaner, Allie Alexander. One away. And Vega to second base. Alexander, first two assists here of this inning, two away. In the majors. Freely to the left side and through. Base hit number five for the Duke Blue Devils. And the first of the day for Freelich and a two in ACC games dating back to last season, but had won 16 of their previous 18 in league play. How about Daisy Hess? We go to the bottom of the six. We should base nine consecutive games, make it 10 with today, and how about another base hit? Hess rounding first, going to second base, gonna be a close play, and she's out! <laughs> On the money from Davidson. Well, and you know Hess loves the inside pitch, that's why she uses that closed stance, drives the ball into left, but gets a little too greedy. Beautiful throw coming in from the outfield. These paths. Now Kurd trying to make it two up, two down here to start the sixth. They one, two, swing and a miss. That's number nine for Kurd. Coming in was 91. She's now closing in on 130 here. This is to Holloway. Got her. Strikeout number 10 for Cassidy Kurd. Louisville walking this thing off in the seventh inning. If you're a Duke fan, you, you wouldn't mind a run here, but Gonna have to come with at least one out as that is a quick, quick out from Goddard. Into the circle, very confident, moving quickly through her pitches. Baker to third and getting some good defense like that from Richardson. Against a drop ball pitcher who's keeping the balls right, keeping the ball right at the knees. Tapia down the right field line. She's gonna hold it first as she should as Miller comes up with it. But a nice two-out single. The 2-2. Two -two. Puts it down, and she's going to reach. Jennings looks like it went off a glove. Now you got two on and two out as Jennings finds a way to get on base. Yeah, PFP, an important part of the game. Took the lead in the top of the seventh last night. Can they do it again today? The 3-2. Goal to the right side. Second baseman Alexander with the flip. And no harm done. Louisville will have a chance to walk off the number four team in the country. Dugout. This one skied to left field under it. Sampa makes the catch one away. We've seen the win place. Need her wheels on the bases. Miller, this guy's this one in the infield. Gold has it, two away. 2-2 two -two to Alexander. Alexander, oh, what a nice snag by Vega. Nice glove work from the second baseman, and we've got extra innings in the Bluegrass State. Pass, but now just worrying about defense and hitting, and it's helped her to be more productive. That one is way high, and 
Bounces off the screen and back to the catcher, Goff. So being able to come back in with a really good pitch here, you know that the hitter's probably not going to swing, but a 4-0 walk, way. Yep. that is definitely not what you expect out of the ace in the circle. That one is put in play to the shortstop. Flip the third, oh, what a play! Daisy S with the flip to Richardson. And that's about as good as you could have hoped for. Normally stands to hit. One, two. This one has popped up. Easy play made by the catcher Goff, and we have two away. That was Kelly Torres who popped that one out, and now Sarah Goddard. How about back-to-back pop-ups to the catcher for the Duke Blue Devils? And we head to the bottom of the eighth. Can Louisville end it? From Lily Walker. And Goff skies this one. Coming in to make the play, sprinting in. That yeah, is you wonder, Terrell. You wonder if she's going to... What about four in a row? Uh, let's see. Yep. Thatcher to right. Thatcher deep and gone! Katie Thatcher, the freshman, walks it off for Louisville. Her second of the season beats the fourth-ranked Duke Blue Devils at home. Did she have the guts to throw the change up again? The answer, yes, but Thatcher had timed it up. When you go back to back to back to back with that slow change of speed, a hitter is ready. And in that situation, the hero off the bench, Katie Thatcher gets the walk off win, their first win in ACC play. And it's a huge one against the number four team in the country, Katie Thatcher. Going to be able to uh, say, maybe you should start me from here on out, Coach. <laughs> How about that? Her second home run of the season, her second home run of her career, just her fourth RBI. And it's a solo shot to deliver Louisville's first ACC win of the season.